So this final pour over method is the Kalita wave. Mm -hmm. One of the things I absolutely love about the Kalita, it's made out of metal. So absolutely. when I drop it, because I, I drop things, I've broken a B house at home, uh -huh. I've broken a V60. This one feels pretty indestructible, like something it's, I could take camping. I do take it camping um, because I took a Chemex one year and it did not survive the trip. Yeah. Um, so donate that to the Sierra National Forest. So exactly. Uh, this one has three very small holes uh, and a flat bottom. flat bottom. It's Which got is, the classic uh, ruffly edge. Yeah. Now, can I get these filters at the market, like my Mr. Coffee ruffly edge? Unfortunately, you can't. Um, they are a proprietary filter. Um, the size is going to be different. It won't fit. Okay. Um, so you so this is Kalita brand sure filter. Getting, yeah, I, you're, make sure you're getting the Kalita branded filter or one that's designed to fit the Kalita wave. Okay. Um, this one is the 185 size, which is designed for doing um, large, like one cup or more. There's another size that's smaller that's for doing um, um, only one cup at a time. And we've accidentally ordered those filters before and they don't fit. Yes, we so, have. They're um, cute though. I mean, they, they look amazing. They're, it's like but the filter tiny. petite and then yeah. you can't do crap with it, so. Exactly. Now, with the Kalita Wave, um, you can actually get away with not pre-rinsing the filter because um, they are made so well that they have almost no paper taste at all. I still like to pre-rinse um, just because I'm a fan of it and it helps me to kind of get everything warmed up Get my cup and it also will seal the filter against the uh, the brewer, which is kind of nice as well. Definitely, yeah, it won't fall out or kind of shift. Mm -hmm. And I'm using my same basic recipe that I have for pretty much all the other pour overs. I'm using 20 grams of coffee and 300 total grams of coffee, or sorry, water. Water. And I'm using the same grind setting, which is number 12 on the Brazza Encore. All right. So my coffee is done grinding. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss that straight in the filter and give it a little shake to level out so I have a nice flat surface to start with. And I'm gonna start my timer and bloom my coffee with about 30 grams of water. So I feel like I've heard this story before, let me guess. 30 grams, 100 grams, 200 grams, 300 grams, am I right? You 30 are, second increments? You are spot on. Man, um, it's, it's almost like I've done this before. The Kalita is especially um, forgiving as well with kind of uh, beginners to pour over. It doesn't require um, a very fine tu tuned pouring technique. Um, the V60, which we covered in a previous video, really requires that you pour very carefully. Mm -hmm. um, the Kalita is a little bit more forgiving. Um, but with that in mind, I still want to pour carefully. And so after the bloom, I'm gonna add, like Nate said, up to 100 grams of water. And I'm using my same kind of spiral pouring technique. I like to start in the middle and then kind of work my way out to the edges, but avoiding pouring on the paper. And for those of you Instagram fanatics, taking an up above shot of the Kalita is just super killer. It you can really check is. it out on our Instagram page because we're sort of killer yeah, and I mean, fanatics maybe. or something. Part way. We're something, we're definitely something. We like coffee. That is true. Yep. And so I've added my second pour of water up to 200 grams. Once my timer reach, reaches about a minute and a half, I'm gonna add my final 100 grams of water to bring the total up to 300 grams. And I love the simplicity of these pour overs. It's, it's just, it's you pre-wet, you go 100, 200, 300, and you're done. Um, again, first thing in the morning, there's not a lot I can, I can do mentally. Mm -hmm. And so this is a recipe that I can follow as I'm stumbling around the kitchen mm -hmm. in the dark. So, um, so this is, these pour over methods are not nearly as, as intimidating as they might sound. Um, and you're getting a killer brew method, a killer cup of coffee um, at the fraction of the cost and time at stopping at your local cafe. Very true. Unless you want to stop at our cafe, then you're okay to do that. But you know, I mean, definitely. You're welcome. We, we want you here. It's true. And we should just cut to when it's done. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, so bored. God, oh, this video is sick. <laughs> <laughs> you can do like the. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you can speed that part up. We're yeah. like. <laughs> we're like, oh. That's funny. All right, so. Oh, it's not there yet. It's not there yet. We this actually gone. would be good. You need to keep we this in, gone a little and course. go fast. 
go fast on that. We're just like, uh. <laughs> hey, hey, all right, so that's done brewing. Whew, that went by fast. Oh, yeah. Now, our final brewing time uh, for this method should be about two and a half minutes. Um, so you can always kind of fine tune your grind setting if it's going a little bit long, you want to grind coarser, et cetera, um, to, to compensate. So we, we, our brew time was about two minutes and 48 seconds-ish ish. at a grind setting of 12. We're targeting about two and a half. So we might want to loosen that up to maybe a 13 next mm -hmm. time. And that would and probably, try. that would probably be spot on. And it's not going to destroy the cup. That's what we want to communicate. That's why we're filming our errors and not our perfectly polished uh, I was trying to, precision, there we go. That Indeed. starts with a P as well. I'm it does. a big fan of alliteration. And I'm a big, big fan of coffee. So I can't wait to try these. Check our next video out where we're actually gonna taste all of those brew methods side by side. And you can uh, hear our thoughts. There you go.